Hi everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this sweet shaker card for you today using the Wonderful Wishes die set and coordinating stencils. This is a really cool set and I'm going to just show you how easy it is to color your images with this stencil and it just makes it so much fun. So I have die cut out the square using the die set and I've got the first stencil over that piece of cardstock. And I am using a Picket Fence Studio grip mat on my black grid mat here to hold my paper down as I'm stenciling with my Honey Bee detail brushes here. And I believe I'm using Mode Lawn Oxide Ink for this first layer of stencils. Now it's really cool because the stencil actually has the defined edge for that square piece of cardstock. So it's super, super easy to line this up. And so I've got that first layer of green. Now I'm going in with some old paper and I'm going to add just kind of more of a muted green layer of leaves. So this is the second stencil for the leafery. And you can just see here, I'm using again, one of the Honey Bee Detail Blending Brushes and I'm just kind of pouncing and rubbing the ink into those leaf areas there on this sec second stencil. And of course, I've really sped this up because it's just the same thing over and over again, just using different colors. Now, this is Lucky Clover. I do apologize. I think this frame is a little bit blurry. I'm not sure why, but again, I, I am struggling a little bit with this new video camera and getting it to focus sometimes. But here you can just see I'm adding a little bit of that Lucky Clover just over the old paper a little bit to give it a little more definition and interest. Now, I'm going in with some picked raspberry oxide ink and the first layer of the flowers and so here you can just see how bright and pretty this is and how nice that looks with the green and so I'm just blending into all of those different areas on this stencil which is the first stencil for the florals and just you know pouncing and rubbing and brushing in with that fine detail brush from honeybee and just getting that really pretty pink ink in there. Now this one is Wild Honey Oxide and I just really love the combination of kind of like an orangey yellow with pink. And of course it looks really pretty with green. So it's a really great color combo and I'm just going in and adding some of this orangey yellow in to this second stencil for the florals. So you can just see how this is slowly but surely filling in all of the different areas on that white cardstock. It's a really great way to colorize your different um, areas on this really adorable little stencil set. Now here we have some Kitsch Flamingo and this is the last little floral stencil that's part of the stencil set. I'm going to go in again with my detail brush and just go in with clockwise, counterclockwise and pouncing motions to get into all of those tiny little areas and just this lighter pink coordinates so nicely with the dark pink with the picked raspberry and just adds a little bit of a different contrast between the different tones of pink. So there's the finished piece. I really love that. Now I did actually use my sheer shimmer spritz and spritzed over top of that to create just a little bit of shimmer. Now this is the candle stencil. This stencil also can be used to create some details for the stand for the cake. And I'm going to just go in with the same colors I've already used. So the wild honey for the flames and then the picked raspberry for the um, stem of the candles or the bottom of the candles and that's just going to be a really really simple and easy way to get those and then I'll die cut those out. I'm only actually going to use three of those and I've cut the the stand from some I think that champagne gold cardstock from my stash and you can just see how nicely that die cuts out that stand for your cake and then you can use as many candles on your cake as you would like. So I'm going to set those pieces aside now and we're going to get ready for our shaker element. So these are the um, shaker pockets available from Honeybee. These are the A2 shaker, shaker pockets inspired by Ilda Diaz, who's one of the design team members who invented the shaker pocket. And so she actually is our inspiration for this product, which is awesome. So you just cut your white cardstock or whatever cardstock you're using to go inside just a little bit smaller than your A2 dimension. And then you just take off that release paper off the edge of your um, shaker pocket here. You fit your paper in and then you can close up three of the sides. I like to leave that top edge open to add my shaker pieces. 
So I'm just going to fold over that plastic and give it a really good press onto my white cardstock. Now this white cardstock is 100 pounds, so it's fairly substantial. And I'm just going to give that a really good press. And now I'm just going to go in the top with my shaker mix. And I did happen to have some pink and yellow shaker mix in my stash, which worked perfectly for this project. I'm just going to dump that liberally into the top of the pocket. And then I'll just go ahead and in that same way, re remove that release paper, fold that over. And there we have our finished shaker element for our card. Isn't that wonderful? And there's so many ways that you can use this and just have really a lot of fun with this. Now I did add a little bit of liquid adhesive onto the back of that and I am going to adhere that onto an A2 size top folding card base. I'll take a couple of heavy blocks here and add those onto that and let that sit and get really well adhered. Meanwhile, I'll start to assemble the other elements for my card. So I'm going to add that cake stand to the bottom of my beautiful cake here. I'll just give that a little press and then I'm going to flip that over and add my candles onto the back of that. And I'm like I said before, I'm only using three candles. I'm actually using the lines on my grid mat to help me see where I can line these up so that they're all perfectly um, centered and straight. So I'm going to just add my three little candles here. And I didn't want to add them too high because I do want to make sure that this is going to fit onto my card front nicely. So I'll just add this last little candle on here again, just with that little bit of liquid adhesive. And I'm using the Big Bold Birthday Stamp and Coordinating die set. I love this big bold birthday set. It is so good. And of course there's a coordinating die and it just die cuts out these really cool sentiments for your project. So that is going to be my greeting for the front of my card, which has been stamped and die cut using some black ink. And I'm just going to use my honeybee tweezers there to pop that onto my cake with some foam adhesive. And then I'm ready to add this cake to the front of my shaker element. Now I am going to use some double-sided really sticky tape for adding this piece onto that um, shaker uh, base. And this is just a really great adhesive for adding onto something like the shaker pockets, which are acetate. And so I'll just take that release paper off and then add that onto my card front. And that's going to finish my card. Friends, that's my project for today. I have linked up in the description box to all of the different products that I've used. So make sure that you check those links and I will see you again very soon. I hope to see you back again this fall after a really short break over the summer. Take care, friends, and I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.